Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. This is the Nevada student section. And now you're watching Friday Night Blitz. Well, welcome into Friday Night Blitz. I'm Raina Garcia, joined by Jake Brand. And Jake, I can't believe we're already in week three. It's starting to feel like fall, and we also had a very different kind of uh, game of the week going on this week. Yeah, it's a contrast to our first two. The first two were 5A matchups in the Metro. Today we head to, the, to Nevada for a cross-class matchup between two rural communities for the first time. Nevada and PCM. Two Heart of Iowa conference opponents that haven't played varsity football, to their knowledge, ever. We don't have any history together, but, but certainly playing each other in other sports, there's a lot of familiarity, and I think it'll be a fun game, a fun rivalry. You know, they see each other track meets, they see each other basketball games, so they, they get the opportunity to play football. You know, I think it's a neat deal for, for both teams. 100 matchups or zero. It's nothing but mutual respect for two similar communities. When our schedule came out, I was like, oh, that's going to be a good football team. They're really well coached. They're physical. They're loaded with some dudes. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, they do things sharp, everything's pretty crisp, they, you know, there's not a lot of weaknesses out there. On the field, both teams play similar styles, so they know exactly what's coming. Smash mouth football is what our coach would say. We're, we're excited for another team that has the same mentality as us. I mean, they got quick dudes, we got, we got quick dudes, and we're both pretty tough. If we could be more violent than them, be more physical, which I believe we can be, uh, I feel like that's going to be the deciding factor of the game. You know, it's going to be fun. It'll, be def it'll definitely be a sight to see to see who beats the, beats the crap out of each other more on the run game. Both teams are ranked in the top 10 of their respective classes, but Nevada's in 3A, PCM is in 2A. The road team is certainly the underdog. If we win, then we're then that's totally awesome. If we lose, you know, people probably expected that. So we're kind of in that, uh, you know, no pressure type of mode right now. I love it. I love being the underdog. I like people doubting me so I can prove them wrong. I mentioned how these communities are similar, but they're identical in their love for football. I love the environment that our school brings, and hopefully their school brings the same exact environment. And it's going to be a good game this Friday. Game of the Week, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. Let's see those highlights. This is cool. Kids in the Nevada Youth Football Program ran out with the team. First drive, PCM with the ball. Gavin Van Gore, play action complete to Jacob Went. He's wide open all the way in for the touchdown. 7-0 Mustangs on the first play from scrimmage. Nevada went scoreless in the first quarter, but then they went to the bread and butter. Kaysen Stevenson cuts and goes 78 yards for the touchdown. That's a quick and powerful run to tie this one at 7. Less than a minute to go in the first half. Cubs with the ball. Connor King lofts for Jacob Kunsaroth. What a catch. The Cubs take a 13-7 lead. Then on the ensuing kickoff, PCM fumbles. Nevada gets the ball back very next play. It's King to Kutzeroth again. The dynamic duo puts Nevada up 19-7, and they win this one 27-7. Another good game here. The ADM Tigers hosting Lewis Central on Teacher Appreciation Night. Thank you to all the teachers out there. The Titans getting on the board first, though, with this touchdown pass from Brady Hetzel to Bryce Juan with just seconds to go in the first quarter. Titans go up 7-0. Second quarter, Aiden Flora on the keeper. He finds the hole and bursts out of the traffic. There's nothing but green in front of him from there. He takes it in for a 58-yard touchdown run, and this game is all tied up at 7, but check this out. Hetzel launches it downfield to Curtis. Witt Moss is the defender. A great catch for the Titans to get him all the way down near the 20, but the Tiger defense holds up. They force Lewis Central to settle for a field goal. The Titans regain the lead 10 to 7, but ADM would continue to answer just like before. Aiden Flora once again getting the job done himself. Puts a nasty move on the defender there. Gets past him and just outdoes his last touchdown run, taking this one 68 yards to the house. And this was a barn burner of a game, but Lewis Central goes on to win this one 38 to 31. Dallas hosting Ankeny at Valley Stadium. We're going to start in the first quarter. Dante Cataldo, the Dallin quarterback, finds Curtis Harass, and he does the rest 
47 yards to the house, 10-0 Dowling. Maroons with the ball knocking again. They leave it for their running back. It's Rashad Davis powering his way in for the one yard score. Dowling goes up 18 to zero. And then who else? They go back to Davis from the nine. He runs his way in. Nobody's going to bring him down. Dowling makes a statement 35 14 over Ankeny. And we are just getting started here on Friday Night Blitz. When we come back, we'll go inside the huddle of the Ames Little Cyclones as they prepare to take on City High in the Little Cyhawk game. but so is the fun. The energy, you can feel it. Everybody's so excited to be out here. It's the people out here coming up. Stop on by the Weather Lab. Our state's creativity is on display here. Hundreds of ducks around the Iowa State Fair to spread our happiness. I love farm kids. I think they're some of the hardest working people I know. The tradition as old as time, the husband calling contest. Jeanette! It's the end of the best days ever. We appreciated you sticking with us the whole time. trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, haul, or tow. Just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Because this isn't just about our capability, it's about yours. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. curves. Don't spin your wheels. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we're sharper than ever. Because we got traction, baby. Yours, Toyota Sedans. That's right. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Time for play of the week candidate number one. We just saw this. Kaysen Stevenson refuses to go down and scores a 78-yard touchdown and a 27-7 win. Stay tuned for later in the show to find out our winner. All right, let's go to Woodward Granger against I-35. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. It's second and five for I-35 and Eli Green runs in for the score. 7-0 Roadrunners meet meet. Now it's Woodward Granger's turn. Taylor Fusen throws a short pass to Chandler Drake and he catches that one for a touchdown to tie it. 
Then we head to the second quarter. Woodward Granger with the ball in their own 10. Fusen throws a long pass to Max Dalton who makes it all the way 14 to seven. Sorry, that's actually I-35. And the Roadrunners win this one in a thriller, 21-20. Inside the Huddle, sponsored by Des Moines Orthopedic Surgeons. The Ames Little Cyclones were sitting at 0-2 heading into tonight's Little Cyhawk game against City High. And as if snapping their losing streak wasn't motivation enough, playing for the Little Cyhawk trophy adds an extra layer of motivation for Ames this week. Back-to-back -back losses against tough opponents to start the season isn't ideal. But with those losses come lessons. You know, another home game, another opportunity for our guys to learn and get better and move a few pieces around, you know, try to get things right. I think everybody learns weeks one and two what you are, what maybe you're not, what other teams are. So I feel, I feel like we have kids in the right place and our kids' mindset is still great. They're disappointed, but they've used that uh, as a motivating factor. Another motivating factor? Bringing the little Cyhawk trophy back to Ames. We're, uh, we're really excited, you know. Uh, Big game, big rivalry game, trophy game. I mean, hopefully we get the win here at home. You know, it'd be great to get us back on track, get against a good opponent. One thing they believe will help get them there is increased physicality. Offensively, we're trying to give the ball to our playmakers. Uh, defensively, we're trying to, you know, be aggressive. You know, the first couple games, you know, you can see that we're taking a couple plays off. Uh, our goal here is uh, to be aggressive, you know, physical, you know, play uh, Ames football. While the team would prefer to get in the win column sooner rather than later, they know there's still much more football ahead of them. And I know City High's in the same boat. It's almost a must-win game for both teams. And you know, you're looking at Class 5A. It's kind of a weird year a little bit with a lot of really good teams sitting there at 0-2. So we know with our strength of schedule, I mean, you don't want to look too far down the road. But it's probably going to be one of those years where you know a couple five-win teams might be having, hosting a home playoff game. So 0-2 is certainly disappointing, but our kids have bought into the mindset. There is still a lot to play for with a lot of season ahead. That little Cyhawk trophy up for grabs tonight as Ames hosted City High. Both teams trying to get their first win of the season. The little Cyclones with the ball here. They fake the handoff to Jamison Poe, but Poe ends up open. It's a catch and run for the first TD of the game. A good start for Ames. Now the clock ticking down in the first quarter. Tied at seven. Lane Kinney is picked off by Kale Kurtz of City High with just 15 seconds left. Some good defense there from the Little Hawks. Second quarter now. Miles Parlett gets the handoff and he high steps in for the TD and puts City High up 14 to 7, but about five minutes left before the half. It's going to be Jamison Poe who scores another touchdown for the Little Cyclones to tie the game at 14 all. Coach Stouser said he wanted his team to be physical. Certainly looks like they got the message. A great effort on the part of the Little Cyclones tonight. Looking much improved, but City High is keeping that Little Cyhawk trophy. They win it 49 to 28. Another rivalry game. DCG hosting Fort Dodge for the first ever Bizer Bowl. DCG up with the ball. Ty Mickelson passes to Dane Mock in the end zone. Nobody's going to touch him. Wide open, 13-0 Mustangs. DCG again in scoring position. Mickelson delays and then leaves it in the flat for Mock again. He does the rest. His third touchdown of the first half, 21-0 Mustangs. Still in the second quarter, Mickelson drops back. And no, he's actually not going to fire to mock. This time, it's Hudson Hydrakin. DCG takes care of business, 35-30. Well, it's time for another quick break, but don't go anywhere because coming up, we'll check in with the defending state champ, Southeast Polk, and their matchup against Cedar Rapids Prairie. Save on your next project with 11% off everything at Menards. Get superior engine protection with Valvoline heavy-duty conventional diesel motor oil. Its balanced formula helps maximize engine durability. A gallon is $14.99 after rebate. Gorilla Tape provides great results for quick fixes around the house. Made with a double-thick adhesive construction. It grips smooth, rough, and uneven surfaces. Rip it, stick it, done. A 30-yard roll is just $7.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. 
For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, haul, or tow. Just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Because this isn't just about our capability, it's about yours. Instantly. DraftKings, you're spoiling me now with these big payouts. Retired NFL smart guy Ryan Fitzpatrick. Break it down for us. Just place your bet, and the bonus bets instantly appear in your account. Like magic. Like Fitz magic. That's too much magic. It's too much magic. Want to turn five bucks into 200 instantly in bonus bets? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, because life's more fun when you're in on the action. The crown is yours. Hanson's knows what your home means to you. It's where you feel safe, comfortable, protected. And, of course, no other place provides you with as much joy. That's why our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are all backed by our lifetime guarantee. So you can feel happy in your home for years to come. With professional installation and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert, exceeding homeowners' expectations for over 30 years. Get 60% off installation with high-quality craftsmanship you can count on. Or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. From windows to roofing to siding to gutters to bathtubs and showers, no one's got you covered like we do. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Peace of mind, as in no worries. Like when you sign up for Peace of Mind Plan service with Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. It's knowing your heating and cooling system will be inspected each spring and fall and will be maintained at its highest level. It's knowing that for less than $21 a month, the Wyckoff family will take care of your family. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling is all about. Wyckoff, put peace of mind under your roof. Visit WyckoffComfort.com. Southeast Polk is the new power in 5A, and now they've got a brand new stadium to show for it. Dave Bingham has the recap from the Rams' first game in that new stadium. The Southeast Polk Rams open up their new digs. Beautiful out here as they host Cedar Rapids Prairie. There are some rankings. Some have the Rams ranked one, two, three. Some have Prairie right in there too, but this one would be interesting. Let's take a look at the highlights. Rams taking the field for the first time in the new digs. Coach C and the boys looking good. Defense holds. Offense goes to work on their first, first possession. Goal, Connor Moberly back to pass. Finds Sam Zelinovich. Gets him into the red zone. And then Connor with lots of options here. And Moberly finds the big guy, Braden Lundgren. 6'3", 215-pounder, 7-zip Rams. Hawks did a good job of holding on to the football. But the Rams defense stalls their second drive. Caden Hills with the pick. And then the Rams go to the ground. Landon Vanderwerf with the big run here, looking for people to hit. Gets knocked out of bounds, and then Moberly goes to work with another touchdown pass. This dart to Cooper Butel. 14 zip Rams. More Moberly. More Zelinovich. Somebody's an athlete. Good move by Sam Zelinovich. And then Moberly with the laser to Lundgren again. Found the big tight end. Rams rolling at home in the new stadium. So the Rams go on to score three more touchdowns in the second half. We're up 42 to nothing before Prairie added a late touchdown. 42-7, our final. Lots of those good highlights you can see next week on our Friday Night Blitz on our extended coverage, and you can check them out later tonight on our Dome Dynasty social media. That's going to do it for a successful night here in the opener, the new digs. Send it back to you guys in the studio. Let's head to Urbandale now. The Jayhawks take the field for their matchup against the Bettendorf Bulldogs. We'll start this one in the first quarter. It's first and goal for Bettendorf, and Will Taylor gets the handoff. He has no problem taking it into the end zone, and the Bulldogs go up 7 to nothing. Second quarter, Gavin Bard on the carry for Bettendorf. He runs it in for their second touchdown of the game. And Bettendorf extends their lead to 14 over Urbandale, and the Bulldogs just kept it coming. Burr connects with Jake Schultz here, gets around the defender, and takes 
takes it all the way in for yet another touchdown. This one was all Bettendorf. They get the road win over Urbandale 48 to 10. Next up, Waukee Northwest hosting Des Moines Roosevelt. And it was Northwest all night long. Running back Caleb James got things started for the Wolves early in the first quarter. He makes his way into the end zone with ease. And that was only the beginning of a massive scoring run for the Wolves. Still in the first QB1, Sam Johnson puts on the boosters and takes it into the end zone 50 yards from the sophomore, 16-0 Wolves. But the Roosevelt defense put up a good fight. Look at this interception from Joshua Hines, helping keep the Rough Riders in the game. That, that play helped them gain some momentum in the second quarter, but it just wasn't enough. The Northwest defense takes care of business all night long, and they win 51-14. Last night, the Lincoln football team hosted a Tumwa, and it was also Military Appreciation Night. Check this out. They had a military service vehicle out on display with a cannon attachment. Members of the Iowa Army National Guard answered questions about their jobs. And before the game, the rail splitters ran through the National Guard tunnel, and current and former members of the military were recognized for their service by the crowd. They're being supportive, you know. We, Lincoln High School has always supported the National Guard, um, and we've had a great turnout with the National Guard um, and recruits and so on and so forth. Right, let's get into those highlights. The Rail Splitters hosting the Bulldogs of the Tumwa, and the Bulldogs getting things started. Matthew Mitchell wills his way across the goal line for the first touchdown of the game to give a Tumwa an early 7 to nothing lead. And they add to it later in the quarter. They give it to Kobe Chantalavon. He's got a gaping hole to run through, and that's an easy touchdown. The Bulldogs would double their lead. The Rails trying to conjure up some momentum in the second quarter. Blake Butters finds the end zone to get Lincoln on the board, but it was just a tough night for them. Braylon Griffiths goes unblocked here, gets the sack, and Atumwa coming out on top in this one, getting the win over Lincoln 29-12. Well, there's still plenty more to get to here on Friday Night Blitz. Coming up, we'll head out to Johnson where the Dragons were hosting Valley in a CIML showdown. Most value menus, more cheese means spending more cheddar. But Taco John's valueest menu isn't most value menus. Now get our Nacho Crunch Burrito with chicken for just $3. Or get it with beef for just 2 Only on the valueest menu at Taco John's. The new 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X is equipped to conquer the great outdoors. Or the great indoors. Welcome to the peak the premium off-roading. Or get 0.9% APR and no monthly payments until 2024. Plus get over 3,200 total trade assistance on 2023 Sierra Denali 5.3 liter V8 light duty models. If you're like most people struggling with diet resistant fat, then it's time to call Sonobello to remove it permanently and in just one visit. I struggled with body fat for years. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat, gone. I would have never comfortably worn a dress like this. My stomach is now super flat. I feel amazing. I went from a size 10 to a size 7. I have the flattest tummy that I've had in 25 years. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently and in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-918-0483 or go to sonobello.com. Hansons knows that your home is a place of comfort and protection. 
That's why our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are guaranteed for life. With over 30 years' experience and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Get 60% off installation or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. The loosest slots. The biggest pots. Connect the dots. The loosest slots. The more you play, the more you stay. The loosest slots. The biggest wins. The biggest grins. The loosest slots. You win a lot, so hit the spot. You'll always spot the loosest slots. Meskwaki Casino. Your moment, your place. To all you so-called drive through contenders out there, Taco John's is coming for the breakfast bell. With the boldest, cheesiest, baconiest, potato olayiest breakfast burritos ever, we're not pulling any punches. The new breakfast champ is here. Try a bigger, bolder breakfast at Taco John's. All right, it's time for our second play of the week nominee. You saw it earlier coming from ADM. Aiden Flora getting free here on the keeper. Gets to the edge, makes a guy miss a 68-yard touchdown run. That right there is how it's done, folks. Well, last week, two arch rivals, Dowling and Valley, faced off in a much anticipated matchup, and it may not have been their best game, but it was the Maroons who came out on top with the win. Let's take a look back on how it all played out. We talked last weekend about making plays. Man, those, those happen because you have work to put yourself in position to make the play. You can't just call it upon, hey, I think it's time for me to make a play. Reliable, consistent, and tough. That's what this football team has to stand for, okay? You don't get many of these opportunities, okay? You get the best rivalry in the state of Iowa, and you get to be a part of it. And that's Rashad Davis back to throw his catalog. He fires it out. It's caught. Slot receiver first down at the 20-yard line of Valley. Here's a handoff for Rashad Davis. Left side has some room. He broke through inside the 10-5. Touchdown, Rashad Davis. Will look the backup quarterback in there for the injury to Jewel. Back to throw he goes, fires at near side, pass is caught. Two tight ends in for Valley, one back in the backfield. Will now has a rush, he's going to be sacked. Sacked in the backfield, now rolls to his right, has time, looking, looking. He's going to have to dump it off. Now he's going to be sacked out of bounds back at the Dowling 43. Back to throw, Cataldo being chased, he fires as he throws the pass. He's caught at the 40-yard line. Back to throw is Cataldo fires it out. The pass is caught, first down, and that's Hank Brown. Here's Cataldo out of the shotgun, back to throw. Takes the handoff. He's going to go down. And the ball got loose. I think Valley's got it. Back to throw is Willett. Under duress. Now avoids a tackle. Still on his feet. Hit. And ball is loose at the 33. And Dowling's got it. The Dowdle back to throw. Blitzes on. Dante avoids one tackle. Rolls to his left. Looking downfield. Fires it out. And the pass is intercepted. Now here's a snap. Stemmel out of the shotgun. Has time. Fires the ball out. The pass is intercepted by Dowling. Down the four sideline. He goes inside the 40. And he's finally driven down. Snap by Cataldo gives it to Rashad Davis, right side, angling in for the score. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Dowling. And the Maroons made, have made it a two-score game with five and a half minutes to go. We played hard. We just didn't always play well. Defensively, I thought you guys were awesome. You hung in. We finally put it in the end zone when we needed to put it in the end zone. That's why it's a team game, and it's a team effort. Really, really proud of you. I want you to enjoy this. It's two games. Okay? They play more than two games in the state of Iowa in high school football. I see my goal. Champions. Well, tonight the Valley Tigers were on the road going up against the Johnson Dragons. They were holding a green out there, as you can see. Now we begin in the first. Will Nuss is going to throw a long ball here to Nathan King. He hauls it in for the 55-yard touchdown, and the Dragons take a 7 to nothing lead. But let's head to the second quarter now. Johnston with the ball on Valley 6-yard line. Minson Martin powers his way into the end zone for the score. Johnston extends their lead over Valley 14 to nothing with 10 minutes to go in the second quarter. Quarter. Johnston playing solid defense in the first half and made it tough on Valley to move the ball. And the Dragons stay in control for this one, defeating the Tigers 21 to 9. Well, we're going to take a quick timeout, but on the other side of the break, Dave Bingham will catch up with our coach of the week for week three.
46 years straight. More of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, haul, or tow. Just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Because this isn't just about our capability. It's about yours. $200 instantly. Just for betting five bucks. <laughs> DraftKings, listen to me. You listen, you listen good. I appreciate you for recognizing how valuable my time is. But instantly, stop. You're not gonna make me sweat a little bit? Feel some extra bump bumps in my chest while the game is going on? <laughs> oh, look, wait a minute. There's my $200. That was fast. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Bet just $5 to get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Action so good. Why bet NFL anywhere else? Touchdown. Nah, interception. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. At Broadlawns, we fight for health equity every day. Boldly redefining what it means to be a community hospital. Whether it's vouchers for fresh food, bus tokens for appointments, classes for new parents, a book for every child, or just speaking your language. That's what got us into medicine. That's what keeps us at Broadlawns. You prepared them for their first steps, the first day, their first dance, that big test, all the wins along the way. And with a College Savings Iowa 529 plan, you'll prepare them for even more. College Savings Iowa, it's how parents get through college. Register before September 30th for a chance to win a $5,290 contribution. It's your first move toward a bright future. Dear Sharp Curves, don't spin your wheels. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we're sharper than ever. Cause we got traction, baby. Yours, Toyota Sedans. That's right. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Coach of the Week, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. Well, Southeast Polk was dominant tonight in their 42-7 win over Prairie. We'll send it back out to Dave Bingham, who's with our Coach of the Week, Brad Zelinovich. All right, welcome back to our Coach of the Week, Wyckoff's Coach of the Week. So if you need something, take care of it's getting that time. You're getting a little chilly out here. Yep. Brad Zelinovich joining us. You got stuff going, this new stadium. There's still, there's still things going on. Last week, I actually thought about this. I actually address rankings for the first time, knowing I might be talking to you tonight. But you can't really think about that. What's it been like coming, going back to back and then new stadium? What's what's the season been like for you? Yeah, just that, you know, every week is a, is a challenge in and of itself. You know, we played an undefeated good team uh, tonight, opening the new stadium, trying to navigate all those types of things with high school kids is easier sometimes said than done. But yeah, we, we have, you know, we don't read the paper. We don't pay attention to rankings. You know, we're focused on us and, and uh, you know, uh, played pretty well at times tonight. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, we're always looking to be better. And you have to kind of stay within the flow of the game that first half. They did take care of the football. Yeah. Uh, but when you look at what Connor's doing right now, I mean, now I think we have back to back. He's five touchdown passes the last two weeks. Is this as explosive like as an offense throwing the ball that you've had? I mean, and, and pretty, pretty fun to watch. Yeah, you know, I, that you know, you know, hopefully you have a system that's flexible enough to do what your guys can do, right? And play to your strengths. And, you know, we feel like we have, you know, a system that we can do. But, you know, there, there's going to be, you're know, going to have to run the ball and, and, and stop the run to win at this level. And we understand that. So uh, we're still, still trying to create that identity, you know, as an offensive unit. And uh, uh, but yeah, you know, we, we you know we feel like we've got some pieces there on the offensive side, and you know we spread the ball around, you know, pretty well tonight. And you know it was a total team effort on both, you know, all three phases, and got a couple turnovers there in the second half, and kind of salted it away. Everything worked here tonight too. I, I don't know about the fancy 
light thing. Yeah. I mean, how, is that yeah. working for you? Kind of old school. Do you do you yeah. have any say in that? Well, no. <laughs> you know, you know better than that. No, I don't have much say at all. But uh, yeah, you know, I think people were excited. It's long overdue, and, and uh, you know, the commitment that they have to, to extracurricular activities is you know we're proud to you know hopefully represent them in a, in a great high school environment. So it was exciting for our guys and for our community. Always appreciate you joining us. That's gonna do it. We're gonna send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. All right. Well, it's time to take a look around X. Does it feels weird saying that? It's too, it will always be I'm Twitter to, to me. It. It's I'm always not used to it yet. <laughs> long live the bird. But we're going to take a look around social media to see what people had to say about tonight's game. Uh, looks like Ogden getting a win tonight, improving to two and one uh, in a pretty good game uh, against Perry there. Yeah, the Bulldogs, small town, really passionate about their football team. We just heard this one from Dave Bingham, Southeast Polk, showing out three and zero. Oh. They're the top dogs in 5A. That's been true for a couple of years now. Moberly, man, he's a, he's a stud. Yeah, we'll see more on him later. Uh, this was an interesting one. Webster City, um, I believe they actually got the win over North Polk, if I have that right. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's huge. That's awesome. I mean, talk about a statement win. That's, that's one right there. Yeah, Webster City, that's a team that probably doesn't get talked about a whole lot down here unless they do something like that. And look at that. Beautiful night. I couldn't believe how perfect it was outside. There, it was like I wasn't hot at all during my live shot, and then yeah. at halftime, I was just barely chilly, which is perfect football weather. It looks like the Milwaukee Northwest cheerleaders are enjoying that perfect weather. Yeah, shout out to them for using our hashtag, Local Five Blitz. That's how you get your stuff uh, shown here in our uh, social media segment. Hey, this guy looks familiar. Yeah, that's my tweet. <laughs> so this was the members of the Nevada Youth Football Program running out of the tunnel with the Nevada football team. That was such a cool moment. The smiles on those kids' faces. I wish I was able to zoom in more and see that, but man, those kids had fun and they're running around the sidelines the whole game. I got to see their team bring home a big win in our game of the week. Yeah, this is one, one comes from our very own Rachel Went. She was at the little Cyhawk game. Um, got to see the, the trophy out there. It was a, a really good performance from Ames, even though they didn't get the win. A much improved from weeks of one and two. Uh, but this is always a fun game, a good warm up for the, the big Cyhawk game going on tomorrow. Yeah, no matter how much hatred you think's in that stands, uh, <laughs> multiply that by 100 for what we're going to see tomorrow in about, I'm not going to do the math. Yeah. Tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> yes, we'll be up there, there soon enough. Well, when Friday Night Blitz returns, we are going to show some love to the fans. Coming up, we'll introduce you to our fan of the game, plus see what student sections made this week's fan camp. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. Wyckoff Heating and Cooling gives you peace of mind, as in no worries. It's knowing the Wyckoff family is standing by to help keep your family comfortable this season. It's knowing that Wyckoff always has competitive financing options to fit your family's budget, including no interest and no payments on any new installation. Peace of mind. That's what Wyckoff Heating and Cooling wants for your family. Wyckoff, for peace of mind under your roof. Visit WyckoffComfort.com. trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, haul, or tow. Just about anything, anywhere. 
That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Because this isn't just about our capability. It's about yours. Get 11% off your next painting project at Menards. Improve your home's curb appeal with Altray Exterior Paint. It's a paint and primer in one that resists cracking and peeling to maintain appearance. A gallon starts at $25.79 after rebate. Paramount Exterior Paint and Primer is designed to exceed your performance expectations. The most advanced protection you can get in true one-coat coverage. Right now, a gallon of flat is $47.96 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Time for another Play of the Week nominee. Dante Cataldo leaves it for Curtis Haras, and he does the rest. Turn on the boosters, kid. 47 yards. Dowling blows Ankeny out in this one. Fan of the Game, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. Our fans of the game tonight wanted to show that even though they aren't as big as a 5A school, they're just as loud as one. I'm really loud and I love getting everyone riled up and I'm never quiet. You know, those big schools, they ain't got nothing on us, you know. We out here, we're out here cheering and stuff, so, you know, it's always Speaking of fans, let's take a look at some of the student sections in tonight's Friday Night Blitz fan cam. I know we had some good themes out there today. Let's see if we can get this, uh, this video teed up right here. Maybe not, but we think we might be having some tech. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this was uh, from the ADM game. Uh, it was USA theme, patriotic theme. Uh, it was pretty fun. I loved the overalls they had going on there. So this was my game. <laughs> I don't think these Nevada students thought it out. So it was Cyhawk theme, but they're <laughs> five minutes away from Ames. So mainly Iowa State fans, and they're playing a red team. So <laughs> one of their photographers was, was questioning a bit. And the other one you saw was PCM. It was a Western Theme. Okay, yeah, I was. I remember being confused when I saw that. I was like, wait, which student section is that? Looks like we had another uh, patriotic theme here. This was over in Ames. It looks like that was a pretty common one. But if you had to choose a winner tonight, Jake, who would you pick? I think it's the Cyhawk, just yeah. because, you know, a student section divided. Aesthetically, it didn't end up looking like like maybe the, the smartest one of the night, but I think as far as participation and just Timeliness. I, I think I'm going to give it to Nevada. Okay, I, I think I might have to go with uh, ADM student section. I, I know. I just I love the uh, a lot of the gals had a white overalls, kind of with some uh, did some like custom paint jobs up there, and it's just I love their creativity. I love when fans go all out, things like that. Um, it's always always fun to see. Um, so make sure uh, you guys keep the themes coming, and you can be featured on our fan cam next week. But keep it right here on Friday Night Blitz because when we come back, we'll reveal which one of our nominees earned the title of Play of the Week. Our goal is to go beyond reporting the big stories. We value our community because we are part of it. We stand together on the issues that impact us. And make an effort to understand where you are coming from, your concerns, your stories. That's why we go where you are. We advocate. Celebrate. With you. And strive to be that familiar face that you trust. Local 5 News, your stories, our community. We are Iowa. Instantly. DraftKings, you spoiling me now with these big payouts. Retired NFL smart guy Ryan Fitzpatrick. Break it down for us. Just place your bet, and the bonus bets instantly appear in your account. Like magic. Like Fitz magic. That's too much magic. It's too much magic. Want to turn five bucks into 200 instantly in bonus bets? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, because life's more fun when you're in on the action. The crown is yours. 
The product that Renewal by Anderson has come up with is a, it's a, it's a great composite product. It offers insulation qualities better than you would get with just a vinyl window. It makes it durable, easy to clean. You know, you, you get what you pay for. Reputation is huge, you know, when you're doing something like this. You know you're going to spend quite a bit of money no matter who you go with. You just want to make sure you put it in the right place. Come take advantage of this limited time offer going on right now at Renewal by Anderson. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. Looking for the freshest deals? Fairways got you covered. This week, USDA Choice Boneless Ribeye Steak is just $7.99. Naval Oranges are only $1.48 a pound. Barilla Pasta is four for just $5. Lean Cuisine Stouffer's or Smart Ones Entrees are four for only $10 when you buy four. Five pound Tyson Cooked Wings are just $19.99. Fairway, best at fresh since 1938. For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, haul, or tow. Just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Because this isn't just about our capability, it's about yours. Play of the Week, sponsored by Taco John's. Well, we had three great nominees tonight, but only one can be named our Play of the Week. It's going to Nevada's Kaysen Stevenson, who refused to get brought down. Look at this cutback and stiff arm at the same time. And this came at a time where the Cubs needed it. They were down 7-0, hadn't really moved the ball, and this was the second quarter. This started... 27 unanswered points and a 27 to 7 Nevada win over PCM. Congratulations, Mr. Stevenson. Hey, well, they said this game was going to be about power running. I don't know what gets They're more right. power running than that. Well, during our first episode of Blitz, we got to hear from the grandson of beloved high school football coach Ed Thomas as he reflected on some of his favorite memories of his grandpa. And this week, one of Thomas's close friends and Hall of Fame coach Ken Winkler shares what made Thomas so revered as a coach and a member of the community. I was supposed to have been here on Tuesday, and then it ended up down in Des Moines, then it was at Boone. I think, you know, what Ed stands for is something that needs to be, uh, his legacy needs to be carried on, you know. And uh, our concern was that as time goes on, you know, people are going to forget not only what a great football coach he is or was and, and uh, what he stood for as far as his character and, and his love for football, but his love for his kids and other people, kids, and, and the profession in, in general, we don't want that to die, you know? And his, uh, his slogan of faith, family, and football, you know, he lived that. And he lived that every day, you know? And we want, we want kids today to know that it's okay to be that way. It's all right to be that way. It's all right to, to uh, wear your faith on your sleeve. It's all right to care about your family. You know, and it's okay to love football. The story about uh, Ed and, and the tornado and, and his involvement in, in helping the community, uh, uh, community rebuild, I think is something that needs to be kept alive, you know, for what he did to kind of pull the community together. And what I'll always remember about Ed is he was a great friend. He was an absolute fabulous friend and he, how much he cared about coaches, football, kids and uh, community, which was obvious with, uh, with the thing. He was a very caring guy and, and uh, he wanted to do the right thing and he wanted everybody else to do the right thing. Well, still to come here on Friday Night Blitz, find out which teams will be featured in our next game of the week, plus whose performance earned them our game ball for week three.
Do you have a cool photo or video you want to share with us? It's easy. Just use the We Are Iowa app, go to Near Me, and you can share with us there. Just upload your picture, tell us a little bit about it, hit submit, and you're done. Once our team reviews your submission, it'll show up on this map, and that's where you can see what other people are sharing, like your friend Holly, for example. Check out Near Me on the We Are Iowa app, and your next great photo might end up on our newscast. With most value menus, more cheese means spending more cheddar. But Taco John's valueest menu isn't most value menus. Now get our Nacho Crunch Burrito with chicken for just $3. Or get it with beef for just 2 Only on the valueest menu at Taco John's. At MidAmerican Energy, we're one company serving 1.6 million people who all need energy that's available 24-7. That's why we work 24-7. That's why we make investments in our systems that make us more resilient to extreme weather. That's why we generate power from all available resources to cover the variables in supply and demand. And that's why when the power is knocked out, we work around the clock to restore power to you. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. The number one objective here at Mission Cancer and Blood is to ensure that the patients are getting the very best care that they can possibly receive. I don't want to offer them just cookie cutter care. I want to empower them. I want to offer them guidance for their care, but I want them ultimately be the drivers. So each patient's going to be different, but you really get to meet these patients and they become part of your family. And if you make a difference in somebody's life, it's like making a difference in the whole of humanity, you know. It's a wonderful feeling. To all you so-called drive through contenders out there, Taco John's is coming for the breakfast bell. With the boldest, juiciest, baconiest, potato olayiest breakfast burritos ever, we're not pulling any punches. The new breakfast champ is here. Try a bigger, bolder breakfast at Taco John's. Game Ball, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. It's time to give our way our Game Ball for week three, and this one shouldn't come as a surprise. Yeah, it's got to go to Connor Moberly of Southeast Polk. At least, I think, five total touchdowns tonight in their dominant win over Prairie. I mean, he has been lighting it up this season. And, you know, the defending champs in uh, just looking like defending champs with him at the helm. Yeah, they've kind of switched up their philosophy with Moberly at quarterback. They're more of a pass-heavy team now than they've been in the past. A lot of that has to do with maybe losing Caden Proctor, Abu Sama, but also it says so much about how much they trust him overly in his arm. He's accurate, he's tall, and he's got a cannon. Yeah, and he's got some good weapons. Um, that certainly helps. If you got athletic guys out there that can catch the ball and you know make those plays, you know, you got to take advantage. So congrats to Connor. We will get that game ball to you. But let's talk a little bit about our game of the week that we just had. A very fun, small town, smash mouth kind of game. PCM at Nevada. Yeah, it started off just like we all expected. Both teams were running it other than, I guess, the first play from scrimmage when PCM scored an 80-yard passing touchdown. That caught all of us by surprise. But after that, it was a bunch of just hard hitting run up the gut, get three, four yards, until Nevada broke it loose in that second quarter. And without a kickoff fumble with about 30 seconds left to go in that half, it would have been a 13-7 game going into the break. But that was kind of a back-breaking fumble right there, and Nevada ran away with this one. But two games of the week for me and Nevada the last two years, both have lived up to the hype, and they're, <laughs> they've both been as physical as they said they would be. Yeah, definitely a fun one to watch. Well, now it's time to figure out what our next game of the week will be. Yep, it's going to be Norwalk and ADM. ADM is one of the best teams in 4A. They, they took a tough loss tonight to a really, really good Lewis Central team. And then Norwalk, they're off to, I think, a 3-0 start. Did they win tonight? I know they were 2-0 coming into this week. Yep. Yeah, no, ADM looked really good tonight. Obviously, you mentioned the tough loss, but I mean, Aiden Flora, man, I mean, you cannot give him enough props for what he's able to do. A 58-yard run and then a little bit later, 68-yard touchdown run. I mean, the kid's an athlete. He makes plays, and that was even with Brevin Dole out. Unfortunately, he had to get, got an injury early in that game, and so ADM is certainly a, a team to look out for. We'll hope that he's okay. That would make yeah. this game that much better, but with or without it's going to be it's going to be a great game. You won't want to miss it next week. Definitely. Well, when we come back, Jake and I will put a bow on week three with our final thoughts.
Local 5's Chinu Her takes you inside the warehouse, introducing you to local entrepreneurs. This week on Made in Iowa, how a local salad architect turned a side hustle into a thriving business. Watch Good Morning Iowa, Tuesday on Local 5. On the CW. Let's go! The show the pros watch is now for everyone. The pass rush is what we want. Let's go! Inside the NFL, this Tuesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again... <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day, stretch the weekend, haul, or tow. Just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Because this isn't just about our capability, it's about yours. <laughs> U.S. Cellular is built for Iowans. It's a network for telling inside jokes from across the country. Built for streaming your favorite song one more time, 10 more times. Built for capturing the moments you'll never forget. U.S. Cellular is proud to have been awarded top performing network availability in Iowa. With coverage across all 99 counties. U.S. Cellular, a network built for us. All right, before we get out of here, it's time to give our final thoughts on week three. Jake, was there any performances that kind of stood out to you? I'd say Johnston over Valley. Johnston's one of those teams that's always good, but they haven't really had that great season in a while. And they had a lot of hype coming into this year, and they backed it up, beating Valley by a couple touchdowns tonight. And Valley's 0-3. They might be the best 0-3 team of all time. <laughs> yeah, well, if anything we learned from last year, it was not to count the Tigers out. We saw it didn't, things didn't really start well for them last year, but they got hot at the right time, and that's really all that matters um, in the season. They've played three of probably the top five teams in the state to open the season. That's just, I guess, the life of a CIML school, but yeah. <laughs> that's a brutal start to the year. What about you? What what team stood out for you tonight? Yeah, I think for me it wasn't a win, but I think Ames really showed a lot of um, improvement this week. I know because I, I been go to their practices every week and following them just to see how the first two games started out. You know, they really struggled. Of course, you know, they played Waukee and Ankeny Centennial. So again, similar, similar to Valley, two tough teams, um, but they put a lot of points up tonight and they gave City High a really good game. City High is a quality opponent, even though they were 0-2. So I think Ames is a team that can continue to trend upward you know, once they get past these tough games. Yeah, that's a big game that City High has done pretty well in the last few years, so it's a big improvement for Ames. Yeah, we'll see if the results are the same tomorrow in the big Cy Hawk game, if Iowa will bring home that trophy. But that's going to do it for us here on Friday Night Blitz. Thanks for joining us.